my name is Melrose. Thank you for joining me. Oh, and a quick thank you for all those who bought me a coffee. It was well appreciated. For those who are new here, it would be easier for you just to watch some of my previous videos and that will show you the journey I have taken to build my beautiful house here in the lovely island of Barbados. The house is up. You know the cash is now short, so I'm having to find ways of getting this place looking how I imagined it. Well, I've started to go to some auctions and apparently auctions are very popular here on the island. I bought a few pieces and this is how I've made them over. I paid $180 at the auction for this and for the chairs at auction, I paid $125 for the pair. I use this picture as my inspiration. The chairs are quite similar. This is the kind of feel I want. Now for the cupboard, this is the kind of look I want. Now I know I'm being optimistic because I haven't got a clue how to do it. First thing I need to do, take the chairs outside, give them a good old scrub down, get them as clean as I can. Ooh, they've come up lovely. I'll leave them here in the sun to dry. Now I've watched dozens of YouTube videos on this. Let's see if I make a mess of it. All in all, the cupboard was in quite good shape. Just a few scratches around the edge. I've already sort of um, wood filled um, some of them. There's one or two others that I just need to tidy up, but it's not looking too bad. They've used that contact paper inside, so I'm gonna to have to peel that off at some point. I don't want that to stay there. I wanna give it a good clean, so all that will have to go. They've put it on coasters, which is handy, but it's not the look I want, so I'm gonna to have to swap them over for some nice wooden legs. I'm gonna start with taking the doors off. Oh dear, it's not a very good start. I'm struggling here. I'm going to get a larger screwdriver. Well done, Melrose. That's the right size Phillips screwdriver. You're learning. Next to go is the contact paper. That came off a lot easier than I thought it would. I'm going to give it a good clean to get rid of the glue from the contact paper and any dirt that might be lurking in the corners. I'm going to dab a bit of wood glue on these little chips here and while that's drying I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. The next task is to, to cut out this area in the door. Never done it before, but I've got my safety goggles, got the drill to get me started, and I've got the jigsaw, and I've clamped this down, so I'm going to try. If it doesn't work, it's no big deal. I can um, think of a plan B. That took a lot longer than I thought. It took me a while to get used to the jigsaw, not as bad as I thought. I think I'll go again with the jigsaw and see if I can get the edges a little smoother. I went a bit jigsaw crazy here. Uh, <laughs> look at all the off cuts. Okay, so I finally got the doors how I want them. The next stage is to wipe everything down, get rid of all the sawdust, and, and then I'm going to prime it. Let that sit and dry, and then I'll go and check on the chairs that I washed this morning. I primed the cupboard and the two door fronts, so I'm going to leave those, let them dry for a couple of hours and chill. I decided on a matte black finish. 
and I will apply two coats. While I was waiting for the paint to dry, I thought I'd have a bit of fun and make a nice little decor piece that I saw on YouTube. So I got some faux apple blossoms and made myself a nice little tree, just for the fun of it. Let's get back to it. I've sanded down the chairs and as you can see, it's really nice wood and there's, there's your before and your after. Once I've done that, I'm applying beeswax and giving it a really good buff. And I think that'll do it for the chairs. Now let's get back to that cupboard. Bought some hessian or burlap for the front opening of the doors. I'm just cutting those to fit. Then I'll staple them down. Finding this a little bit tricky, make sure the burlap is taut before I staple it. Not bad, I just need to clean up the inside of the door where there's some black paint. One of the first things I bought when I came down to finish my house was the legs. Absolutely beautiful wood. $50 each. Yes, I said each. They are beautiful. I've remounted the doors. All I need to do now is to put the door handles on and I'm finished. May need to touch up the odd place with um, some black paint. Oh, I need to seal it, but I didn't buy any sealer. So I will do that as soon as I get a chance. It's the reveal. What do you think? something you'll get there until next time guys bye